How is everybody doing today? Hello, Angie and Roy. Hello, hello. I was going to go to the bins today, but then I didn't go because I was going to go pick up my puppy's ashes, but then I realized it was Martin Luther King and I didn't get paid. So I have to go tomorrow to pick up his ashes, but I did go to the well today, to the thrift store in Knoxville. So I did get to go do some thrifting a little bit today. I want to make it to the bins. I want to go to the bins tomorrow. Make my water. I'm so excited, you guys. I have some fun, fun things tonight. I actually went up to my swung vases and got two down to, to sell tonight out of my own collection um because it's just really crowded up there and i'm just gonna slowly go through the ones that i don't absolutely love to the fullest because i have a ton <laughs> as you can see um so i did get a couple swung vases i have some jim shore I have some Viking glass. I have a bunch of vintage Valentines with flower frogs again. Um, I have a left an angel, a vintage purse. Oh, I love, love, love the vintage purse that I'm selling tonight. It is so awesome. So awesome. So yeah, I have a lot of fun things. I, I have some little trinket, the trinket boxes. Um, uh, yeah, some really fun things. So if you guys are new here, um, please send me an email. My email is junk to be loved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters. The link is in the description below as well. Make sure you include your YouTube name. So I know who you are, your, um, real name, your shipping address and your PayPal email address. So I can get invoices sent out to you guys. That would be wonderful. And, um, I do all my live sales as like auction style where I will, um, show you the item and tell you a price. And then we will do a, um, I'll tell you about the item and you guys put your bids in and then I'll do a countdown. And once I do the countdown and once I say sold, um, once my, one of my moderators puts sold in the comments, then whoever has the highest bid before the sold wins the item. So if you really, really want the item, make sure you bid to win. Don't just bid in dollar increments if, and expect to win the item if you really want it. Um... I stress that a lot because I have so many people. I feel so bad when I say stop and then people are bidding because of the lag. So that's why I say if you really want the item, make sure you bid to win. Um, and make sure you are on live chat and not top chat. That's very important. And refresh often. That's always good too to help with the lag. Because I know the lag sucks sometimes so bad. But yeah, I have a lot of fun things tonight. I have a lot of vintage flower frogs with the Valentines. I ended up with a lot of metal flower frogs. <laughs> and um, so I thought they would be fun to put Valentines in. So I have a bunch of those. Like I said, a Jim Shore, some swung vases, Viking glass, a vintage purse, lots and lots of fun things. So this should be a really fun sale tonight. I'm excited. So I'm going to go back and see who's here angie and roy hello irene hello kathy hello laura hello hello nancy beal and hello everybody tuning in um yes so 
I think I went over everything. I am going to go ahead and get started. Um, since I have a lot of the vintage Valentines, we will start with those first. And we'll start with this one. This is so cute. Again, um, make sure you guys are on live chat and not top chat. And um, here we go. This is the first item, number one. This is a vintage Valentine with a metal flower frog. And um, you're going to get both of them. You're going to get the pair, the flower frog and the vintage Valentine. We're going to start this out at $10. $10 for the pair. Hello, Sue. Hello, Gypsy Moon. Hello, Barb. Hello, Sarah. And Christy, hello, hello. So we're going to start this out at $10, and you get the Metal Flower Frog and the Vintage Valentine. And what's great about these flower frogs, like I always say, is that when Valentine's is over, you can take this out. You can put an Easter card in there or... Um, you can use it all year round for a picture, um, like hold your pictures or um, business cards. That's a good idea. Or Christmas cards at Christmas time. So these are really, really awesome. I love this one. It's got the distressed look. It is green. And it's just a lot of fun. So I will measure this for you, starting it out at $10 for the pair. And look at the Valentine. It's just adorable, the vintage Valentine. So cute. And this one, AmeriCard 9400. It's probably made in the USA. Um, Valentine, be mine. I'm wild about you. It's so stinking adorable. So you get the metal flower frog and the vintage Valentine. And I will measure them for you. The Valentine measures three and three fourths inches tall and two and three fourths inches wide. And then the flower frog is an inch and a little over an inch and a half round and then it is an inch thick so it's a little bit thicker than the other ones that I had yesterday or taller however you want to say it and there you go I should have a little picture or something. You can, like, you can display all kinds of stuff in these. That's what's so awesome about these. I love the metal flower frogs. And I see Roy is at 10. This one does have a name written on the back of it. so stinking adorable for the lion so if you're interested in the metal flower frog with the vintage lion valentine look how sweet those uh, faces get your bids in now because i'm going to start counting it down 10 9 8 7 6 Five, four, three, two, one, sold. It's so stinking adorable. Lion Valentine with flower frog. And I see Roy got it for $10. Thank you, Roy. All right, next up, we are going to do 
These two, you're going to get these. These would be cute in a Valentine's assemblage or like a spring assemblage or whatever you want to do with them. But you're going to get both of these two babies in the package. They are so adorable with the eyelashes. I just think they're so stinking cute. You're going to get both of them. And we are going to start these little babies out at um, $6 for the pair. We're going to start these out at $6 for the pair. These are new old stock. They are Impkins, Impkins dolls. I never heard of them before, but they are just so stinking adorable. Aren't they so cute? And they're new old stock. Oop, in the package. <laughs> so adorable. Hello, Sue Spezio. Hello, hello. I love their eyelashes. And the dolls measure, they are, oh, it's four and a half. It says right on the package, duh, four and a half inches tall. They're each four and a half inches tall. So if you're interested in the pair, you get both of them, babies, um, get your bids in now. I'm going to start counting them down. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. They're so stinking cute. Look at their eyelashes. Four, three, two, one. Sold. Those are adorable. Package of dolls. And I see Sue Spezio got it for $6. Thank you, Sue. All right, next up, we are going to do, these are cool. And you're going to get all three. These are three little trinket boxes. Unfortunately, they don't have their trinkets in them anymore, but they're so, so cute. So there's this one. They're all boots, but they're all different styles. But they're all trinket boxes. So there's that one. There's this one. Aren't they so cute? They're just adorable. I love them so much. And this one. So they're all three different colors and styles. I don't know the maker because they don't have a maker's mark or anything on the bottom. Um, but they are so cute. And you're going to get the set of three. You're going to get all three of them. And there's no chips or cracks. They are like the ceramic trinket boxes. So we're going to start for the for the set of three. We're going to start these out at $12. We're going to start them out at $12 for the set of three. Three trinket boxes. They're so neat. And even this one has like, look at the heel. They're so, they're so fun. I love, love, love the colors on them. They're so pretty. So, so pretty. They are neat. Hello, Janet. These are awesome. They're little trinket boxes. And they're all three different colors. Like this one reminds me of like Alice in Wonderland. You know, it's like funky. And it's decorated on the heel, too. I love that. It's so pretty. It's 
so pretty. So these measure... This one is a little bit shorter than the other ones. This one is. This one is... Two and three-fourths inches long. And then it is... Two and seven-eighths inches tall. So there's that one. I love these. These are so much fun. And then these other two are about the same. And they measure... About three inches long and an inch and a quarter tall. So you're going to get all three, the set of three trinket boxes. They all open. And they're just so stinking cute. Love how they're painted. I wish I knew who the artist was because these are so cool. These are nicely done. So if you're interested in the set of three trinket boxes, get your bids in now. Um, you get all three for one price. I'm going to go ahead and start the countdown. Ten. Nine. It's neat how they have little bows too. See. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, sold. I love those trinket boxes. They're so cool. Three, shoe, trinket boxes. And I see Janet got them for 13. Thank you, Janet. All right. Next up, these are cool. Okay, these are little frames with little valentines in them so these three are like matching but i'm gonna throw in an extra one that doesn't really match but kind of does okay so i'll show you what i mean look they have little cupids on the frames they're little plastic frames and then they have little valentines inside of them and they don't have a way to stand them up it's they only have velcro so it's weird i don't know how they were like attached you know you, you can just do whatever you want with them. But there's no way to stand them up. Maybe if you put them in a little, like, plate stand or something. I don't know. Oh, we got a troll here, I see, guys. Um, so there's this one. There's this one. There's this one. These three all are, like, have the Cupid Angels. See, there's like a, this one's round, this one's square, or this one's oval, this one's square, and this one's round. So they're all a little bit different, and they all have a different image in them. And then there's this one. And this one's a little bit loose, and I didn't glue it in. Um, I figured I would let whoever wanted to do that. And this one, these are plastic frames, and this one's metal. This one is a metal frame. And aren't they just so stinking cute? And this one, actually, on the back, it says the Weston Gallery on the frame right there. So, but it is a little loose. It'll have to be, like, glued in, maybe, or put a thicker piece of paper behind it to make these, to see how these are loose. So, but I'm just throwing this one in, too. So, you get all four of these, and we are going to start them out at um, $10. $10 for all four. So again, sorry about the glare. The glare sucks. 
There's that one. I love the little Cupid. There's that one. There's that one. Oh my gosh, aren't they so stinking adorable? And then this one. So awesome. So this metal one, it measures, it is three and three eighths inches tall and two and five eighths inches wide. It's so stinking adorable. So there's this metal one and then this one, the oval one, it measures three and a half inches tall and three and a quarter inches uh, round or wide. So cute. And then the square one, it measures three and an eighth by th three and an eighth. So cute. And then the round one. I love these little cherub angel babies. It is three and a half inches round. So if you're interested in the set of four, get your bids in now because I'm going to start counting them down. You get all four little frames. So 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, oops, <laughs> four, three, two, one, sold. They are so cute. of four little frames with valentines. I should have put valentines frames. There we go. And I see two, 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 two. Kathy got them for $15. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, everybody, for your bids. Okay, next up, we are going to do... These are cool. I'm, I'm going to do... Oh, here. I'm falling and I can't get up. <laughs> oh, what a stretch. Okay, you, I'm going to do... You're going to get both of these. They're diff completely different, but they're both Valentine's themed, so I'm going to do them together. The, the first one is my favorite. I'll just go ahead and show you what they are. They're two books. This is an Ideals magazine, a Vintage Ideals Valentine's magazine. Wait till... Hello, Uncle Andy. Hello, everybody that's popped in if I've missed anybody. Um... Really quickly, if you guys are new here, uh, please send me an email if you would like to bid. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters. The link is in the description below as well. Make sure you include your YouTube name so I know who you are, your real name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email address so I can get invoices sent out to you guys. That would be great. And make sure you are on live chat and not top chat. And also remember to refresh often. Okay, so two books, two Valentine's books. This one is an Ideals magazine, and like I was saying, wait until I show you some of the things inside. Oh my gosh. This would be so much fun for junk journaling or whatever. You know, this 
I there's so much fun things inside this magazine. And then I'm gonna I include this uh, vintage hardback book. This one, it does have some wear on the um, jacket or book cover, whatever you wanna call it. As you can see, it does have some wear, but it is so stinking cute. It is a hardback book. And this one is, so for the both of these books, we're gonna start them out at, um, we're gonna start them out at $9 for the pair. We're gonna start them out at $9. This one is copyright 1983. Ooh, the year I was born. 1983. And it's in really good condition on the inside. The whole book is in great condition. The only part that has some wear is the dust jacket. So, you're going to get this Valentine's book. So stinking cute. And then this Ideals magazine. Now, I am so excited. Wait till I show you guys the inside. Okay, this is right when you first open it up. And first of all, how stinking adorable is the inside cover with the angel babies and their wings I just think that's so cute. Won't you be my Valentine? This one is copyright 1961. And then the next page. Oh, isn't that so awesome? Oh, look at it. They're so cute. The little angel babies. Aren't they adorbs? <laughs> so cute. That's even a neat picture or illustration. <laughs> 1983. Now this is so stinking cute. First off, this one is cute with the birds and the poem and stuff, but look on the other side. Oh my goodness. Isn't it so cute? Look at the mushrooms and the frog and all the wildlife animals. It is just so cute. I love this book and this is awesome. School days. I'm telling you guys, it has got some really fun, fun things on the inside. This, it's just awesome. A little, a Valentine to a little boy. Isn't that so stinking adorable? I'm just in love. I just think this is so awesome, this magazine. I don't want to go through all of it because it will take forever because there's a lot in here. Like, oh. It's just awesome. It's in really good condition, too. No rips or tears. No writing. I mean, it's just got so much, so many different things in here. Oh, look at that baby. Isn't that adorable? So cute. To my husband. So if you guys are interested in the two vintage books, these are so fun. Um, get your bids in now. I'm going to start the countdown soon. Ooh, look at those fancy people. Hi, Cindy. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate all the prayers and thoughts, you guys. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Doby was my boy, man. And if you are a puppy mom or dad and you... Oh, oh look at this. Look on the last page. If you own a puppy of your own 
and you have to put them to sleep, it is the hardest thing ever in the whole world. So hard. Okay, so if you're interested in the two books, you get the pair. Um, get your bids in now. I'm going to start counting them down. Where are we at with the bid? I see Debbie's at $10. So if you're interested, get your bids in. This one's a hardback book. This one's a paperback. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold. These are awesome. I can't wait for you to get them, Debbie, and look at them. They're so neat. Valentine's books. And I believe... Oh, did we not have somebody say sold? Are we lagging? No one put in sold. <sighs> Let me go back and see. I think we're lagging. Are we all caught up? Put your bids in. I'm gonna do a really quick countdown. Do the sold, somebody do the solds. I'm gonna, we're gonna count them down. So if you want these, get your bids in right now. I hope you're, nobody's lagging. But put your bids in. Because I'm going to do the countdown. I hate the lag. Yvonne won. I feel so bad. Okay. Yvonne, I guess you got them for $13. You got them for $13. I always feel so bad for the lag, you guys. But they are cool. Okay, I hope everybody's okay with that. I feel bad. I hate the lag. It sucks. <laughs> okay, we're going to... I still got lots and lots and lots of cool things. So let's continue on. Um, let's do... Now, I don't know anything about this. I wish I did, but I don't. It is beautiful. It's black, and it's, I don't even know, I can't even tell you guys what it's made out of. It kind of feels like glass, but I don't know. I have no idea. Look, there's the bottom. Oh, I don't know if it's ceramic or glass. Oh, I don't know. I, it, I can't tell you guys. I have no idea. But it is, it's a beautiful piece. And it's like, I'm going to try to get up really close. It's like a sandy, like a sandy textured paint. If you know what I'm talking about, can you, can you kind of see it? How it's all those little dots. It is beautiful. I absolutely love it. There's no chips or cracks. Just a little bit of paint wear, as you guys can see. Um, but it, I mean, it's stunning. I, lo I absolutely love this piece. I'm like, what is that? No, there's no chips or cracks. There's no marks. I have no idea. But this is gorgeous. And... I wish you guys can see the textured. It's like a sandy. It's like sandy. Like, 
I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's like sand paint or something, it feels like. But anyways, for this beautiful mystery, um, I don't know if it's pottery. I don't know if it's glass. I have no idea. We're just going to say mystery pot, black flower mystery pot. Um, we are going to start this piece out at, oh, we're going to start it out at $14. We'll start it out at $14 because it's just so gorgeous and pretty and mystery and I just love it. I don't know. I love the way it's painted. I love everything about it. I just think it's so neat. And when I rescued it, I was really happy. I was like, ooh, this is awesome. And it's black. It's really unique. So, it measures. It's a mystery pot. It is five and a half inches tall. And I would say about six inches round. Five and a half inches tall and six inches round. But isn't that neat? I've never seen anything like that before, like with the sandy paint. You can kind of see it sparkly a little bit. It's not sparkly, it's just like from the gravel or sand. I don't know how to explain it. I just thought it was a really neat and unique piece. I think it's a Toba Connie vase made in Japan. Oh, neat. Neat. I don't know. It's not marked. It's just gorgeous and beautiful and stunning. And I love it. I love the colors. It's all hand painted. And it's all different. So if anybody's interested in this, we will start it out at $14. If not, I will set it aside and do a little bit of research. Oh, cool. Awesome, Nancy. I'm gonna do I'm gonna look it up when I'll maybe list it online after this. Okay, we will set that aside. The mystery pot. Okay, let's do, let's do another flower frog. Hello, peachy me. We'll do another metal flower frog with a vintage valentine. Again, starting it out at $10. You get the metal flower frog with the vintage valentine. So stinking cute. And these metal flower frogs are perfect for pictures or business cards or Christmas cards or whatever cards or anything, you know, anything that you want to display. And it's so stinking cute. This is a little one too, you guys. This one's so stinking cute. It's a little metal, a little metal flower frog. And it measures, the Valentine measures, four inches tall and two and a half inches wide. And then the flower frog is an inch round and three-fourths of an inch thick or tall. So you're going to get the pair, the vintage Valentine with the metal flower frog. How adorable. So if you're interested in the little flower frog with the vintage Valentine, oh, by the way, this one does have writing on it too. I think they're so cute when they have writing on it. Oh, and this card says at the bottom, made in the U.S. Oh, it says litho in the U.S.A. So it's like a litho print. Um, X-703-6. So if you're interested in the metal flower frog with the vintage valentine, get your bids in. I'm going to start counting it down. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold. I'm shaky. Okay. What's this one? Book. Book. Valentine. With small flower frog. And I see, I see Cindy Brenner got him for $14. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, thank you. And just a reminder, if you guys are new here, don't forget to send me your um, info so I can get invoices sent out to you guys. Okay, next up, I have what I think looks like a Holt Howard rooster. The Holt Howard rooster print. I think it looks like that to me. It doesn't say Holt Howard. I'm just saying the rooster to me looks like Holt Howard. <laughs> this is a uh, trivet uh, tile in a metal trivet. So this is metal, and this is like the clay or ceramic tile it is stamped on the back um made in japan it is stamped made in japan right there and then also on the metal i thought it said made in japan oh it says japan right there on the metal stamped japan it's so cute. You could hang it up on your wall. You could um, use it in your kitchen. I just think that looks like the Holt Howard rooster. And I just think it's so stinking cute. So for this metal trivet, we're going to start it out at $9. We're going to start this rooster trivet thing, tile thing out at, um, what did I just say? $9. <laughs> Oh, I lost my train of thought. I started thinking about something. Isn't it so cute? I just think it looks like the Holt Howard. This is like cast iron, you know, like the metal. And it does have its feet, so you can sit it down. It does have all four feet. So if you wanted to lay it down on your counter like that, you could. Hello, Chicago lady. Hello, hello. Hello, Nancy Owen. I have not sold the angel yet. I have not. She will be coming up. I actually have two angels tonight. I have a Jim Shore angel and I have a Lefton angel. I have two. I love this. This metal trivet. I just think it's so neat and retro looking. Perfect in any vintage kitchen display. Um retro boho it works great with boho decor too as well and this metal um tile trivet is nine and three quarters inches tall so it's pretty tall and then it is a little over five inches wide hello lisa day hello hello So starting this out at $9, if anybody is interested in this, $9. I love it. It looks like a Holt Howard, um, a Holt Howard rooster. I just think it's so cute and it's nice. It's in, it's in good condition. It has a little bit of uh, wear as you can see on it, but not too bad. There's no cracks or anything in the tile. And it is stamped Japan, the tile and on the metal. They're both stamped Japan. Hello, Robin. So there's the marking on the back for the tile. And it also says Japan up there. And then it also says Japan on the metal. So if you're interested in the rooster tile trivet, um, get your bids in now. 
I'm going to measure it again really quickly. It is nine and five eighths inches tall and a little over five inches wide. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Look at all the colors. It's so beautiful. It looks like the whole Howard Rooster. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Sold. Okay. Rooster tile trivet. And I see, I see Kathy Spiker got it for $11. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, thank you. And thank you everybody for your bids. Next up, I have a set of three. You're gonna get all three now. I thought these would be really, really cute to make um, springtime assemblages with. Or you could use them if you want. I don't, I believe they're anchor hawking. I don't know though. You guys will have to tell me because on the bottom they just say made in USA, oven proof, and then the logo or is an anchor with a square around it. Let me see if I can get this to see if I can figure out a angle way. I mean, if I shine my light on it, does that help? But no, it does not. It's an anchor with a square around it. And they just say made in the USA. So I don't know. I don't know the maker. You know, they look like Pyrex or Fire King but they don't say Pyrex or Fire King. They have an anchor with a square around it. So anchor hawking maybe. But I thought they would be so cute to make, um, and they are glass. I thought they would be cute to make little springtime assemblages out of, but you're gonna get the set of three. Um, they're not, they have a little bit of wear, like right there, right there, that's one. But the rest of it's in pretty good shape. That does have a paint scratch on that one. But like I said, you're going to get all three of them. You know, they're not too bad. A little bit of wear, but not bad. And so for the set of three, this one's like the nicest one. For this set of three, we're going to start them out at $8. They are so pretty. Yes, very pretty color. We're going to start them out at $8 for the set of three. Made in the USA. And they're so nice. You could use them or make little assemblages, whatnot, whatever. They're cute. They measure almost five inches round and two inches tall. Five inches round and two inches tall. So that, like I said, perfect for little assemblages or whatever you wanna make but you're gonna get the set of three. And they say made in the USA, um, oven proof, and then they have the anchor with the square around it. And then they say 310. Yeah, they all three say 310. They're all, oh no, two of them are marked 310 and one of them is marked 301. So. Let me get the set of three of them. Did you turn the porch light on for her? Yeah. Oh, it looks dark out there. It's cold, brr. Felt that cold breeze come in. So you're gonna get all three of these cute little yellow bowls. So if you're interested in them, get your bids in. I'm gonna do the countdown. Um, here pretty quickly. Again, they are almost five inches wide. I'd say about 
four and seven eighths, so just about five inches wide, and then two inches tall or deep. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, hi Miss Grace, four, we try to feed her, three, two, one, sold. I think they're so cute with the yellow on the outside and the white on the inside. Three yellow bowls. And I see Sarah got them for $11. Thank you, Sarah. Gracie, you're snorting like a little pig. Gracie, my dog, seriously, you guys, she's a chihuahua. <laughs> she snorts like a pig. Okay, should we do, should we do one of the swung vases and then we will do an angel? Let's do one of the swung vases. Beautiful, I absolutely love it. You see how it changes colors, it goes from like a greenish, grayish, and then it goes up to clear. It's so pretty. I don't think it glows. It doesn't glow, but it's still so pretty. So gorgeous, I love the shape. There's no markings on the bottom. It's just a gorgeous swung vase, and I love it. You guys know I love my swung vases, so it was hard for me to pick out two, but I need to go pick up Dobie tomorrow and I need to pay some bills, so I figured I would sell some. It is dirty. That is a piece of, you need to take like, here. Oh, I got it. There we go. I got that piece of dirt out. <laughs> um, you could rinse it out if you wanted the dust out. It's not too bad, but it's beautiful. And we are going to start this out at $16. We are gonna start it out at $16. No chips or cracks, very, very beautiful. I love it, I love my vases. They're so pretty, see? Could you see all of them up there? <laughs> They're gorgeous. So I did pick out a couple. I love the shape of that. It's just so pretty on that base. And the glass is pretty thick. It is pretty thick. I just think it's gorgeous. When I do that, it reminds me of like Emerald City of the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and it measures. It is eight and three fourths inches tall eight and three-fourths inches tall, and then it is it is two and a half inches round. Gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful swung vase. I love these. I love the base, isn't that so pretty? It's just gorgeous. And I love how thick the glass is. It's just so nice. Such a pretty, pretty piece. And Sassy's out. Thank you, Sassy, for your bids. It's so pretty, you guys. No chips or cracks. Thick glass, really nice piece. 
So if you're interested in the beautiful swung vase, hello, Cricket. Hello, hello. If you're interested in the beautiful swung vase, um, get your bids in now because I'm going to start count the countdown here pretty quickly. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I love the color, how it goes from dark to light. It is so stunning. So pretty. Looks gray. Like if you have it one side, it looks gray. If you like turn it, then it looks green. It's just gorgeous. So, again, this one measures eight and three-fourths inches tall and two and a half inches round. So, if you're interested, get your bids in. I'm going to start counting it down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, sold. Beautiful. Okay, that one I'm gonna put green. I'm gonna put green, cause I got two, I got two tonight. Green, swung vase and I see Barbara Riggs got it for 25 thank you Barbara and Barbara have you bought from me before if you have not bought from me, please um, send me your info my email is junk to be loved at gmail.com um, all lowercase letters. The link is in the description below as well. Make sure you include your YouTube name so I know who you are, your real name, shipping address, and PayPal email address so I can get invoices sent out to you. That would be wonderful. Hello, Jen. Hello, hello. Okay, thank you, Barbara. Thank you, thank you. Okay, next up, let's do really quickly... Since I have so many of them, we're going to do another vintage Valentine with the Metal Flower Frog. And this one, you guys, is flocked. This Valentine is flocked. The darker red is flocked. So stinking cute. Absolutely love it with the green flower frog. And like I always say, you can use these for so many different things. You can use them for your kids or grandkids pictures. You can use them for business cards all year around. Um, you can use it for Christmas card display. Any sort of ephemera display is perfect. So we're gonna start this out at $10. $10 for the metal flower frog with the vintage Valentine and it is flocked. Isn't that so cool how it's flocked? I think that's so neat. And it's so adorable. It says, you're, you're a sweetheart, Valentine. And it is written on the back. I just think it's, I like it when they're written on the back. I think they're so cute. And these, oh, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. But it's just so stinking cute, and I think it's neat how it's flocked. So you're going to get the pair. You're going to get the metal flower frog with the vintage valentine, and I'm going to measure them separately. The valentine measures three and one-eighth, or no, three and a quarter inches tall and three and three-eighths inches wide. And then the metal flower frog is an inch and five eighths round and an inch tall or thick. So this one's a little bit bigger than the last one. So cute. Nope, I haven't done the square one yet. I haven't done the square one yet. I still have the square, um, the square one. 
So stinking cute. So if you're interested in the metal flower frog with the vintage Valentine, get your bids in. And this one's neat, you guys, because like I said, this one's flocked. It's like the velvet. It's got like the velvet on there. It's so neat. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold. I love it. Look, it's anthropomorphic candy. Anthropomorphic. <laughs> So stinky cute. Okay. Valentine heart with metal flower frog. I don't know why I put metal, duh. Duh, messy. Okay, I see. Sarah got it for $12. Thank you, Sarah. All right, next up, you guys, I'll do an angel. Let's do, let's do the Jim Shore angel. We are going to do this big, big Jim Shore angel. She is just about 10 inches tall. Just about 10 inches tall. Beautiful, beautiful angel. Perfect condition. No chips or cracks. Nothing wrong with her at all. Absolutely stunning piece. Look at the wings. Gorgeous. And if you know anything about Jim Shore, you know it's very, very collectible. There's the bottom. And we are going to start this large. This is a large one. They come in like smaller sizes or bigger sizes and she is a bigger one we're gonna start her out at $18 we're gonna start her out at $18 she is fabulous look at all the design the nice long green bow that goes all the way down Jim Shore does really really nice work really really nice work Stunning. It's a stunning piece. And this is a large one. Like I said, they come in large sizes or smaller, like four inch, I think, is the other size. She is in between nine and a half and ten inches tall. She's a bigger one. And there's Jim Shore. It's got some of the sticker residue on there. I need to let me. I can get that off really quickly. That drives me nuts. I will get that off. We're just going to cover that sticker residue up because that drives me insane. I don't like the sticker residue. It's Jim Shore. It says, Heartwood Creek, Jim Shore, 117677, Landscape Sleeps. 2004 Jim Shore, licensed by an ESCO group. It's got the barcode. Beautiful, beautiful Jim Shore angel. I absolutely love her. She is stunning. She's got her halo. And then look at the design. See the design on there? It is stunning, you guys. This piece is so pretty. Yeah, it's got designs all over. It is so... I hate the sticker residue. <laughs> Look at the wings. It's so pretty. And her face, she's even so pretty. Beautiful Jim Shore. 
angel. She is stunning. Very, very, very collectible. Very collectible. Jim Shores are so nice. I love them. And, yeah, she's like nine and a half inches. I'm just going to say she's nine and a half inches tall. And then she is five inches round. She's five inches round. She's a big one. And look at, just look at the, all the design. Jim Shore, has, he's like whimsical, you know? He just does, look at the houses carved in her dress, in the trees, in the stars, in the holly and berries at the bottom, in the mountain, the mountains with the snow. It's so neat how the dress is carved like that. Such a pretty, pretty, pretty piece. So if you're interested in the beautiful, large Jim Shore Angel, get your bids in now. Um, I'm going to start the countdown on her. I will go slow. So get your bids in if you're interested. And like I said, no chips or cracks. She's in perfect condition. I love her so much. Very, very, very nice, stunning piece. And Jim Shore is very collectible. I don't do just in case bids, April, but if that if you're willing to pay, just bid what you're willing to pay. But yeah, um, it's, uh, don't, like I said, if you're really interested in something, bid to win. It's important. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do the countdown on her, the beautiful Jim Shore Angel. So 10, 9, very whimsical, 8, and she's a large one, guys. She's a bigger one. 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, sold, beautiful Jim Shore Angel. And I'm actually going to set her back up on the shelf. Large Jim sure angel and i see sassy squirrel stash got it for 24 thank you sassy All right, guys, next up I have a beautiful, and I don't know if this is Viking glass or not. I I don't know, you guys. It's It looks like the Viking um, cabbage um, leaf pattern, but I don't know. I can't say for sure, but it is so beautiful. Look at the handles. They're curved under. Such a very, very, very nice piece of gla art glass. Um, there's no chips or cracks in it whatsoever. You can just feel a little bit of rough spots on the inside, but there's no chips or cracks. It just feels a little bit rough for some reason. I don't know why, but just down here. But it's so pretty, such a pretty piece of glass. And we're going to start this beautiful piece of glass out at $12. We're gonna start this beautiful amber dish out at $12. Really, really nice. Look at how it's like an overlay. It's such a nice piece of glass. No chips or cracks. And it measures, it measures. Six inches wide and then 
from handle to handle. It's eight inches long, eight inches from handle to handle. And then it is a little over three inches tall. And it is a beautiful piece of art glass. I absolutely love it. I don't know if it's, it looks like the Viking um, cabbage leaf pattern to me, kind of, but I don't know because it's like got the overlay. Can you see that? It is gorgeous. I love how the handles are. It is a thicker glass. There's the bottom. There's no markings. And it's gorgeous. I love my glass. <laughs> I really like the handles. I just think they're so nicely done. And don't go anywhere, guys, because I got a left and angel. I still got the, I got Viking glass. I got a vintage beaded purse. I got vin swung vase. I still got lots of good stuff. So if you're interested in the beautiful amber, look at that handle. It's just gorgeous. Um, art glass dish that looks to be the cabbage leaf pattern. Um, get your bids in now because I'm going to start counting it down. I will measure it again really quickly. It is eight inches long from handle to handle. Um, six and a quarter inches wide and a little over three inches tall. So 10, 9, 8, 7. Look at those handles. So pretty. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold. So pretty. I'm going to set it back up on the shelf as well because it is glass and we don't want it to break okay amber glass dish and I see Nancy Owen got it for $12 thank you Nancy Owen All right, next up, we are going to do... Now, I didn't know if anybody would be interested in these. These are... It's new old stock from 1987. They've never been open. It's still sealed all the way around in the package, in the plastic, completely sealed. So, I can't take it out and open it um, to show you exactly what is all in there. But it's stickies. There, it says copyright 1987 stickies. And these are the Valentines. It says no cutting, no glue, no messy sprays, no tape. Remove the paper backing from plastic sheets. Pull out pre-cut pieces from plastic sheets. Press plastic pieces uh, into position on clean, glossy surface. Peel off. Store for reuse. Magic Glueless Plastic Decals. Stickies for your holiday windows. New old stock. So we're going to start this out at $7. We're going to start this out at $7 for the new old stock. Valentine's Sticky Decor. Stickies. And then here's the back. I just thought it would neat. <laughs> Stickies from 1987. New old stock. Never been opened. Still sealed all the way in the plastic. Stickies on mirrors. Give a personal message of love with Valentine hearts and alphabet stickies. What a way to start any day. 
Stickies on the refrigerator. Many possibilities to mix stickies sets. Try a poinsettia with a white ornament for a beautiful holiday expression. Stickies for creative fun. Indestructible can be used again and again. Geometric design. Stickies is perfect for children's buddy creativity. Made in the USA. Stickies on sliding doors. Help your family and guests safe. Scatter spring flowers around so pretty and practical. <laughs> Stickies on the bathtub. Youngsters have fun while getting clean. Mix and match for pretty borders and decoration. Stickies on ceramic. Surprise your loved ones in the morning. Shamrocks, daisies, and hearts stick to cups and mugs so easily. <laughs> Okay, so is anybody interested in these? $7 if you're interested in these. If not, I will set them aside. I didn't know. I just thought they were cool. I think I rescued them out of the bins a couple years ago. Okay. Next up, let's do... The square... We'll do the square flower frog, the metal. It is a square flower metal flower frog with the vintage Valentine. How stinking cute. This one is very unique. It is a square one. It's not like the normal round ones. We're going to start this one out at $12. We're going to start this. You get the vintage Valentine with the metal flower frog. And we're going to start this one out at $12. It is metal. It is distressed. And it is awesome. It is old. And it's so cool. So stinking awesome. So, I will measure them. I'll measure them separately. I'll measure the valentine first. The valentine is... Four and a half inches tall and three and a half inches wide. And then the square um, metal flower frog is four and a half inches long, two inches wide, and an inch and a half tall. So it's pretty good size. It is a pretty nice sized one. This is the biggest one I've had. Well, no, I have a round one that's coming up that's really big, too. So cute. Be my Valentine. Look how precious and sweet they are. So cute. So if you're interested in the square metal flower frog with the vintage Valentine, get your bids in now. Like I say... These metal flower frogs, perfect for holding your business cards, perfect holding um, Christmas cards, um, school pictures, you know, anything like that. They are really nice ephemera holder display. So if you're interested in this piece, get your bids in now because I'm going to start counting it down. So 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, look how cute they are. Five, four, three, two, one, sold. Okay. Oh, yeah. I want to remind you guys not tomorrow, but the next day, Wednesday. I will be a guest on Tammy's um, channel. Her channel is Vintage Uprising Texas. Go check it out. Go subscribe. Um, I will be a guest on her. Hold on. Square flower. On her channel. as And we will be do <clears throat> doing a sale together. A live sale this Wednesday. So not tomorrow, but the next day. With boy... And girl, Valentine. So 
So I'll have some more fun stuff for sale. And I see Lisa Day got it for $12. Thank you, Lisa Day. All right, next up. Let's do... I have a large, beautiful piece. What time with Tam Tam? Oh, crap. Um, I think she does hers at 6.30 central, 6.30 central time. 6.30 central time. I believe. I'll have to double check. I'll, I'll get with her and, um, advertise it like crazy and show you guys my items that I'm going to be selling on her sale. We're doing 20 items each. And I, I don't know if it's just going to be a buy it now. I, maybe she'll let me have a, a, most of, I probably, most items will be buy it now. She might let me do a couple, um, offer ups, but we'll see. But this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of Viking glass. A lot of people get these mixed up with Ellie Smith. I don't know if Ellie Smith made a mold like this, or, or I don't know if Viking sold the mold to Ellie Smith eventually. I have no idea. I know for a fact, though, that this is Viking, or this particular mold is Viking glass because I've sold one before exactly like it that still had its original Viking glass sticker. This one does not have its sticker, but it, it's, it's gorgeous. It's thick. This one is actually bigger than the one that I sold before. Okay, this is Viking glass, and it is a girl. This is the point of her hat. There's her little face. There's her little face to the side, and she's looking at the geese. Two geese. Oh, I don't, I think she might have mods. I'm, I'm not for sure. We'll have to ask her. It glows green. That's hilarious. Um, but this is a large one and you can see it's opened on the inside. It's opened. It's a beautiful, beautiful, no chips or cracks. Beautiful piece of art glass, Viking glass, beautiful, how would I say that? Viking art glass piece. <laughs> it's so pretty, but there's the girl's face. Can you see her face and her nose? And she's looking down at the geese. I think she's feeding the geese. There's two geese right there. So we are going to start this piece out at $16. We're usually, or psh, I was reading, <laughs> Dave usually does it. We're going to start this piece out at $16. It is gorgeous. Look at her cute little button face. I just think she's so precious and adorable. You know what she looks like right here? Like the 3D ultrasounds for babies. <laughs> but this piece is stunning. There's no chips or cracks whatsoever. It is gorgeous. Very, very nice piece of Viking glass. And this one's large. The one that I sold before was a lot smaller than this one. This one's bigger. Look at her little precious face. I just can't get over it. I think she's so cute. It's hard to see it on camera. You can see it better in person. Because if you, it, you, this is how you set it. You set it like this because you can see her face. And she's feeding the geese or ducks, or whatever. And it is very, very, very thick. Very thick, thick glass. That's another way how you can tell if it's Viking glass is because it's super thick. Let's put some paper behind it. Ooh, then you might be able to see it better. There you go. See your little nose? She's looking down at the geese. And it's so pretty. Very, very, very nice piece. No chips or cracks. And it's thick, heavy glass, beautiful. Love her little nose. There's her little nose. <laughs> so, and this is heavy, so 
if you're interested in this piece, get your bids in now because I'm going to start the countdown pretty soon. I will measure it. I don't even think I measured it yet. I'm sorry, you guys. It is a little over seven inches tall. And the base is five inches long and three and a half inches wide. It's a big old piece of Viking glass. It is stunning. That's how you sit it. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I just think it's so pretty. So if you're interested in the beautiful girl with the geese, get your bids in. I'm going to start counting it down. Ten. Nine. Sorry. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, sold. And that's going to go back up on the shelf. Amber Viking glass piece. But it's girl with the geese. <laughs> and I see, do I ever buy ashtrays? I do sometimes. Um, if they catch my eye, I do. I just actually seen... Thank you, Nancy. Um, I just actually seen this thing the other day online that somebody had took a bunch of vintage ashtrays from like the 50s and the 60s. <clears throat> and you know how they used to make them all in like different shapes and styles and colors and just really cool? Well, somebody had took them and put them in di a different design on their wall. I was like, that is a good idea. They hung them on their wall. That's a, a really good way to use, you know, a vintage ashtray if you don't smoke. <laughs> Hang them on your wall as art. Okay, next up. I have a beautiful, 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 all beaded purse with a round chain handle. Now, if this is not 80s dynasty, I don't know what is. I, when I see this purse, I picture those ladies with money at their fancy parties and just partying it up. This is beautiful. Okay, you guys, this is all beaded. It is only missing one Tiny bead right there and a little tiny, I don't know if that's supposed to be scooted over or what, but just right there, it's missing one tiny little bead. Other than that, I believe it is in very nice shape. It is beautiful and stunning, and you can see it is all beads. Totally 80s dynasty right here. Absolutely love this vintage purse. It is in great condition. On the inside, it is in fabulous condition. You can see it is vintage from the, the way the handles are on there. And then obviously the round chain. Um, there's no, I couldn't find the maker. I couldn't find any label or anything like that. Um, yeah, I, can, I can't find anything. It's thick, so it's like hard to pull it open. It's still in really, really fantastic shape. I I love it. I can't get over it. And we're going to start this out at $18. We're going to start this vintage 80s dynasty purse out at $18. And it's all beaded. All of it. All the way around. Even on the sides. On the bottom. It is stunning. Very 80s dynasty right here. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it besides besides 80s Dynasty because that's what it reminds me of. I love it. <laughs> 
I see Nancy Owen at 721. I'm not seeing Nancy Owen. Oh, I see Nancy Owen. That stinks. She's there. She got it for 16. Okay. Anybody interested in the vintage 80s? This is gorgeous, you guys. I'm telling you, it is all beaded. It is stunning. And we're starting it out at $18. Very, very nice shape. Still, the button still snaps very nicely. Here's the inside. It's just gorgeous. It's even beaded all the way up. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. $18. If nobody's interested, I will set this purse aside. But it's all beaded. It's stunning. Stunning, look at that. Go out to the clubs wearing this. Hey, look at my beaded purse. <laughs> And the beads are all different colors. It's just fabulous. And it's got that jewel right there. Totally 80s. All right. So if nobody's interested in this purse, I will set it aside. All right. Next up, we will do, you see Nancy Beal. Okay, next up, we are going to do another metal flower frog. Hey, Tammy. There's Tammy, guys. Go subscribe to her channel. Um, it's all right, guys. Nancy Owen got it for $16. Um, we are going to do another metal flower frog with a vintage valentine. And can you see those vintage valentines are stick people? Am I having trouble? Can you guys not see me? Hmm. Can you guys see me okay? Okay, good. I see you. Perfect. Okay, Vintage Valentine with the metal. This one's round, and it's like a cup. The Metal Flower Frog. The Vintage Metal Flower Frog with the Vintage Valentine in their stick, people. Oh, my goodness. So stinking cute. So adorable. We're going to start this out at $10. $10 for the Metal Flower Frog with the Vintage Valentine. Let's, let's, we get a lot thicker. Let's, we get a lot thicker. Hmm. Because they're stick people. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No markings. It is a metal flower frog. And it's just stinking adorbs. <laughs> and I will measure them separately. The... The Valentine measures four and a quarter inches tall and two and a half inches wide. And then the Metal Flower Frog is two and a half inches round and an inch and three fourths tall or thick. So you're going to get the stick people valentine with the metal flower frog. How stinking adorable. And this one, it does have you wear. You know, these all these flower frogs are old, you guys. They all show wear and stuff. So 
but they're just perfect for displaying ephemera, um, cards, pictures, anything like that. And look at that little boy and that girl. They're stick people. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. So if you're interested in this vintage Valentine with the metal flower frog, get your bids in now because I'm going to start counting it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold. <laughs> I love his glasses. They're so cute. Okay. Stick people valentine with round cup flower frog. I gotta be very descriptive with those because I have so many, so many. Okay, let me see here. Oh, I see Debbie got it. Debbie got it. Um, she got it right before the sold, and she got it for $14. Thank you, Debbie. I'm going on my end when I refresh, guys. When I refresh, it, Debbie got it right before Nancy said sold. So, Debbie, you got it for $14. And I got another one. I got another one. It's it's cool. It's probably the best one yet. And we'll do that one here in a little in a few minutes. But I still got a swung vase. I still got a left an angel. I got some fun things. Don't go nowhere. Okay, next up, we are gonna do these two miniature teapots. Now, these are awesome. There's no chips or cracks on these teapots, and they are look. They are, they, this one says March, and I was like, well, that flower doesn't match that flower, but look, when you turn it around, it does. It is. So this is a March teapot. This one's a March one, and they are um, Staffordshire, England. Staffordshire, England. I have another one, Lisa Day. And actually, I still have more metal flower frogs and a whole ton, hundreds. I have hundreds of vintage Valentines. I have a box full. And then the other one is this one. And this one's, what's that say? August? August. And it's, again, Staffordshire. Two miniature teapots. One's March and one's August. And you're going to get the pair. Um, no chips or cracks. And we are going to, Nancy Owen, say hi, please. <laughs> Nancy Owen, say hi, please. Um, we're going to start these beautiful little miniature teapots out at $12 for the pair. We're going to start them out at $12 for the pair. They are Staffordshire um, month, month teapots. There's the bottom. No chips or cracks. They have gold accents. And I just thought they were cute little miniature teapots. The months on them. August and March. You're going to get both. They measure. They are... A little over three inches tall with the lid. And then they are two and a half inches round, about. That's just an average. Teapots are a little hard to measure, but they're so stinking adorable. So there's, see, you can turn it. You can have it like that, or you can have it same March. And then the same with this one. See how it says August. 
Or you could have it that way. So pretty. So, so pretty. So two miniature teapots. If you're interested in the miniatures, you get both of them for one price. Um, get your bids in. I said, like I said, there's no chips or cracks whatsoever. They're gorgeous and they are Staffordshire. Staffordshire, England. Royal Patrician. Fine Bone China. So you're going to get the pair of teapots. So get your bids in if you're interested in them. I'm going to start counting them down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, sold. These are awesome. I'm going to sit them back up on the shelf too. Because they're just miniature teapots. They're so stinking cute. Okay, two mini teapots. And I see... Janet Green got them for 14. Thank you, Janet Green. Okay, next up, let's do the angel. We're going to do the March angel. We're going to do the March angel. Now, I have to tell you just one tiny, tiny chippy out of her flower petal right there. One tiny, tiny little chippy. I mean, it's hard to even notice it. I didn't even notice it at first. But it is. A, there is a one tiny little chippy right there. She's got a jewel. She says March. Beautiful, beautiful. No chips or cracks other than that one right there on the flower petal. You're welcome, Janet. And she is a Lefton angel, you guys. A Lefton angel. She's beautiful. We are going to start her out at $18. We're going to start her out at $18. She's got her jewel. And she is fabulous. No broken wings. A lot of the times when you find these, they will have their wings broken and repaired. She does not. She's got gold accent. And eyelashes. Look at her little lips, and she is a left an angel with her original sticker. And then there's her number. You can see the wear on the bottom, how old she is. She's beautiful. What did I say we're starting her out at? 18. Actually, no. Since she's got the chippy on a pedal, as I wrote that down before I seen the chippy, I just noticed the chippy. We'll start her out at 14. We will start her out at $14. She's got beautiful flowers. Loving, isn't she so pretty? Beautiful March Angel. $14. And she measures, she is four and a half inches tall, maybe a little bit more, a little over four and a half inches tall. And she is three and a quarter inches wide. And then she is two and a quarter inches thick. So pretty. Pretty left an angel with her jewel, her yellow flowers, and her pink ribbon that says March. No broken wings, no repaired wings. Such a pretty, pretty piece. And look at her eyelashes. She is gorgeous. And she still has her original left in sticker on the bottom. She's numbered. And she's such a nice gal. <laughs> 
really, really nice angel. So if you're interested in the March angel, March Lefton angel, get your bids in now. I'm going to start the countdown here pretty quickly. Again, she is a five, four and a half inches tall. Four and a half inches tall. Three and a quarter inches long and two and a quarter inches deep. She's beautiful. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, sold, March Angel Baby. And I'm gonna put her back up on the shelf. Okay, March, left in, Angel. And I see uh, Debbie got it for 15. Thank you, Debbie. Okay, next up, let's do my last. I still have a swung vase to do too, so I'm going nowhere, guys. Um, this is my last vintage Valentine of the night. This is a large metal flower frog with a large vintage Valentine. And the candy is anthropomorphic. OMG. So stinking cute. These are flocked. The red candies are flocked. It is so gorgeous. You're welcome. And it comes with a large metal flower frog. This one is big. You can see some of the prongs are bent. It is old. It does show a little bit of wear. It doesn't stop it from holding your ephemera. <laughs> so this is a really nice piece. Um, I will measure them separately for you guys. But for this large one, this is big. This is a big one. We're going to start this set for the pair, the Vintage Valentine, and the Metal Flower Frog out at $12. We're going to start it out at $12 for the large metal flower frog with the vintage Valentine. This one is so big. You could stick multiple cards and pictures or, you know, this is just a big Valentine. That's why I stuck it in there, but you could do whatever you want with it. So I will measure them separately. First, the Valentine. It measures four and three-fourths inches wide. Oh, and it is written on the back, too. <laughs> and then it is four inches tall with the anthropomorphic candy. OMG, so stinking cute. And then the large round metal flower frog is Four and an eighth inches round. Four and an eighth inches round. And then it is three-fourths of an inch thick. Or tall. However you like to say it. So this is adorable. You're going to get the pair. You're going to get the vintage valentine with the metal flower frog. I love the anthropomorphic candy. I just think it's so stinking adorable. I cannot get over it. <laughs> I love the way vintage stuff looks. They made things look so awesome back in the day. So much fun. Right? Don't when you see smiling candy, don't you think that's so much fun? And it is flocked. It is flocked. So if you're interested in the large round metal flower frog with the large vintage Valentine anthropomorphic candies, and the hearts are flocked. Um, get your bids in now because I'm going to start counting it down. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, so cute, three, two, one, sold. And that's gonna go back up on the shelf. Okay. Large heart candy valentine with flower frog. And I see to do to do to do to Lisa Day got it for twenty dollars. Thank you, Lisa. I love the anthropomorphic candy. It's so much fun. Okay, guys, and then my oh no, I got two more things actually. I got two more things. Um I didn't know. I thought this would be so cute for Valentine's um, decor display. It is wood, and then the flowers are like foam, paper foam or something like that. It is so neat. Very, very neat. It's not, it's not heavy. Even though this is wood and twine and foam, it isn't, it isn't very heavy at all. And I just think that is so adorable. See how it's got the twine to hang it up? And I think this would be so cute for Valentine's display. And we are going to start. <coughs> I need a drink. <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> I just swallowed. <coughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> I just swallowed wrong. <laughs> I'm choking. Oh my goodness, that was horrible. I just swallowed wrong. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you guys? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. That was horrible. Okay, back to the beautiful wood decor piece. We're going to start this out at $10. I know I got tears rolling down my face. We're going to start this beautiful piece out at $10. And like I said, these flowers are like foam. They're like paper foam. And it's just a pretty, I thought this would be so pretty for Valentine's display. Or, you know, if that's your decor, it's really neat because it's wood. And I just thought this is so pretty. I love all the colors. I love, it kind of looks like a rustic, you know, decor kind of with the wood and all the different colors and stuff. <laughs> I'm good now. <laughs> I'm good. That was horrible. But it measures 12 inches long. 10 inches tall. It's 12 inches long and 10 inches tall. And like I said, it's not very heavy. It doesn't weigh very much. Even though it's wood, it's like a light, lighter wood. And, and the flowers are like foam. So pretty. Look at all the look, different shapes. That had to take somebody a long time. To make those. They're all different. It's so cool. Oh yeah. This would look really good in a scrapbook room. Yes. Very nice. So if you're interested in the wood heart decor. Get your bids in now. Because I'm going to start counting it down. Again. It is. 12 inches long. And 10 inches tall. So 10, 9, I love it how you could hang it, see. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, sold. It's really pretty. I'm gonna put that back up on the shelf. Okay. Wood heart decor. Wood heart decor. <laughs> and I see, Lisa, you got it for $10. You got it for $10. Okay, guys, now my last item of the night is a beautiful, beautiful swung vase. Love it. This one is gorgeous. O-M-G. I love my swung vases. It was so hard for me to decide which ones I wanted to get rid of and which ones I wanted to keep. The bottom is all smooth. It's not polished, really, but it's all smooth and flat. It's so gorgeous. Look how it's got like the red and the blue in there. Isn't that so pretty? And we're gonna start this beautiful swung vase out at $18. We're gonna start it out at $18. It is so stunning and so beautiful. And I love my vases, you guys. I love them, but I gotta make room. Change is good, right? <laughs> I just I just keep telling myself that. Just just keep telling yourself. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> and the this beautiful vase is eight inches tall and three and a half inches round. Let me see if that's what it is on the top too. Yeah, three and a half inches round. Eight inches tall, three and a half inches round. Look at the colors. Look at how thick the glass is. It is really thick. So nice. Love the colors. Absolutely stunning. And it's gorgeous. See the shape? You can see the shape of it on the bottom. It's so pretty. Absolutely love it. Beautiful swung vase here. <laughs> Ew, you can't start another collection, right? I need to do a video to show you guys my different random eclectic collections because I... Uh, <laughs> no, I do. I like to do the countdown, Linda. I like to do the countdown. That way it gives everybody a fair chance. Just in case the lag. Just in case. It's so pretty. There's no chips or cracks on this vase, you guys. It's absolutely stunning and gorgeous. And I love the colors, how it's got like the red in there. You see that? It's so pretty. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous design. Oh, I know. I got like, I got spaghetti, a spaghetti animal collection, like spaghetti slash sugared. Some of them are spaghetti, some are sugared. Um, I have a bunch of art glass, obviously, swung vases. Um, I don't know. If, lots of figurines. If they're, if they're kitschy and cute, then then I then they just find a way on top of my shelf. I can't help it. They just find their way home to me. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. So if you're interested in the beautiful, beautiful blue and white and red swung glass vase, look how thick the glass is. It is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. Look at the swirls in there. Look at those colors. Get your bids in now. I'm going to start the countdown here pretty quickly. Yeah, we could. We totally could. I got to get my death pile a little bit more cleaned up. And that's right over here on the other side of the couch. And then, then I will feel... I wish it was completely gone. So then I could just like walk in my door and just video everything. But I don't want you guys to see my death pile. <laughs> 
Okay, this beautiful vase, if you're interested, get your bids in. Um, this beautiful vase is eight inches tall and three and a half inches round. Eight inches tall, three and a half inches round. So 10, nine, eight. See how beautiful that is? Look at those colors. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sold. Beautiful. Okay, back on the shelf, and that is a blue, we're going to call that blue swirl, um, swung vase. Blue swirl, swung vase, and I see t -t 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 Kathy, I think you got it for 25 You did. Kathy Spiker got it for 25 Thank you, Kathy Spiker. And thank you, everybody, for your bids. All right, guys. That was my last item for the night. Um, I guess I can show. Is anybody interested in the beautiful vintage beaded? It's all beads. It's stunning. I think it's 80s dynasty is what it reminds me of, like the rich ladies that go to the fancy parties in the big giant buildings from the 80s that's what it reminds me of it's all beaded and um 16 dollars 16 dollars for the beaded purse with the round um chained handle it's all round gorgeous 16 dollars for the beaded purse and then $16 for the beautiful black mystery pot. <laughs> it's beautiful. I don't know who the maker of this is, but it's gorgeous. So $16 for this and $16 for the purse if you're interested in either one. Uh, that was an awesome sale, guys. So much fun. I know, just that one bead. It is missing one gold bead unfortunately um it's beautiful still all right guys don't forget to go subscribe to tammy's channel um vintage uprising texas we are going to have a sale together on wednesday evening so go subscribe to her channel i will do a preview of what i'll have for sale and stuff um tomorrow evening so that way you guys know um what i will have for sale but it should be a fun time and I am so excited. I'll take the purse. All right, Christy, I will write you down. You got the beaded purse for $16. I love it. It's like totally 80s dynasty. Beaded purse. $16. And thank you, thank you, Christy. And, okay, yes, don't forget, I'm having another sale. So, that means invoices, like always, <laughs> I don't know, are going to be a little bit late this week um, since I'm having her sale. I'm going to try to get started on them on Thursday um, afternoon because I'm not going to work on them until after Wednesday's sale. Um, so, yeah, this was an awesome time, guys. I always have so much fun doing these live sales with you guys. Um, it gives me something to do and keeps me busy and lets me know that other people have the same taste as me. I love it when I find fun vintage things. Oh, real quick, want a sneak peek of one of the things that will be for sale tomorrow. Ugh, look. This will be one of the things that will be for sale. Or Wednesday, I mean. Oh, another beautiful glass. This will be for sale on Wednesday during Tammy's sale. Look at the bubbles. Isn't it beautiful? Um, it don't have a stopper. Bummer, I know, but come on. It is still gorgeous, right? Love it. All right, guys. So I'm going to get off here for tonight, but 
Um, don't forget to send me your info if you guys are new here and have not done that yet. Um, I always have so much fun doing these live sales. I truly, truly appreciate all your guys' support. You guys are amazing and awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys. We'll see you on Wednesday on Tammy's channel. Don't forget to go subscribe. Vintage Uprising, Texas. Good night, guys.